Hi, it is morning here in Taos, New Mexico, and I wanted to make this video for you and just kind of show you something that has happened to me in the studio that I think that actually it'll make you feel a little bit better. I did a 48 by 48 painting. I'm going to take you through the process of all that happened. But I did my thumbnail sketch, like I always do. Got my design down really good. I did my pores on it, and they turned out the prettiest that I think I've ever done. And I was so excited. I thought, oh my God, this is going to be a really, really good painting. So I uh, couldn't wait to get up the next morning and paint this uh, abstract that was just luscious. It was just luscious. And so I started in on it, and as you will see, it went from luscious to kind of good to chaotic to really bad. And then I had to make a decision. And I know that you go into the studio and you have this very same decision to make on a lot of your paintings. So I'm going to take you through the entire process with visuals and explain it all. So let's get going and enjoy. Okay, I think this is going to make you feel really good. All right, this is the painting that I was saying is so beautiful that I could not wait to get in there and start painting on this. Look at those colors. So now I'm, I'm in on this. I am painting this, bringing in my no-name colors, blocking things out. I'm pleased. I'm liking this so far. And then I start adding more no-name no colors. And for some reason, I'm I'm losing those colors that I wanted to keep, and I can't figure that out. So I'm I'm just continuing. I'm letting the painting talk to me. I'm, uh, I love I love some of these colors that I put in, but even with that, I realize I'm losing my center of interest. So then I need support. So on the support, I I bring in the dark on the lower left. And that's, that helps. I really think that helps a lot. And then I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm really frustrated with this. And so I pull out my heavy pencils, my dark pencils, and I start drawing lines. And that helped, but it didn't help. I then said, well, I don't like those. I need darker. I need more oomph. So I took out the charcoal and added charcoal. Then, of course, I spray the charcoal. Come in the next morning, and I look at it, and I say, oh, my, it needs color. So I bring out the orange, and there I'm throwing on the orange and <laughs> letting it drip, saying, please, please, let's, let's get something done here. And guess what? It didn't work. So I'm, I'm throwing on paint and out of frustration, but I'm sure you guys have done this yourself. And here I am with changing, adding color, pulling out, adding shapes, pulling out, just trying to find what this painting wants to be. What does it want to say? What is it? What is it? And so now I've obliterated almost everything. And so I'm looking at it, and I'm saying, I see a pot. Okay, you don't want to be an abstract. You want to be a flower, a floral. Okay, let's go for it. I'm going to, I'm going to run with what you say. So now we're starting with floral, and, and now I don't have my thumbnail sketch, so I'm working from the seat of my pants, so to speak. I am allowing this painting to talk to me and tell me exactly what it wants. And so here we are. We're working on the florals. We're bringing in lighter colors, fresher colors. I'm beginning to like this. I'm trying to decide the position for that flower on the far right. I did have a hard time with that, I must admit. Then I decided it was a little bit stiff, so I decided to do drips 
and just let it roll and to loosen up the design so it wouldn't be so well as I say stiff and I kind of like that I like that line that was in the back and uh, you know some of the colors weren't right but things were looking up now I'm also working on the upper part trying to figure out the placement of the flowers I have worked on this and now I've got my flower on the right side. I've worked out the colors that I think it's going to work. I'm darkening up, bringing everything together, making sure that everything holds together and blends and the edges are soft. And this is the final piece. Uh, it turned out to be warm, inviting, uh, exciting, and I quite frankly loved it. But the lessons that I learned here was to never give up, listen to your gut, and also listen to the painting. Because the painting is going to tell you what it wants. And I wasn't listening. I wanted it to be one thing and it wanted it to be another. And you and I both know the painting always wins. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know. This really helps me help you if these are things that you want to see. And I'm looking forward to hearing your comments and, uh, and your frustrations as well. So anyway, I love you. I love you. So uh, take care and I will talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.